Hey, and welcome back to another video in my tech discussions playlist, the playlist of videos where I discuss various tech related topics. You can find the rest of these videos using the link down in the description and on my channel. So today we'll be discussing a scam, uh, a hard drive scam that goes on on eBay quite often. And I'll be giving you the details on how to avoid this scam and etc etc. But before that, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, also turn on that bell notification button to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Discord and you can find me on those using the links down in the description. Alright, let's jump right in. So for a quick background on this, um, there is a brand, well there was a brand of hard drives called HGST, which stands for Hitachi Global Storage Technologies. They were purchased by Western Digital in, I think, I can't really remember when they were purchased by Western Digital, but it's a usual thing. Uh, Western Digital purchased the company um, as a form of takeover and it's it's a tactic used by companies to get rid of the competition. So in 2018, um, Western Digital shut down HGSD completely uh, and they kind of merged all their technologies together into the larger Western Digital company. Um, and the reason why people would want to purchase hard drives from this HGSD brand is that they're rated the most reliable hard drives ever, um, even beating out Toshiba drives. Um, I think a company called a company or website called Black Bay, no Backblaze, yeah Backblaze. They did a test on a couple of hard drives, and usually it's the HGSD drives that always came out on top. Personally, I've also had really good experiences with these drives, dating back ten years even. Uh, they're really reliable, they don't break easily. They're not the greatest performers, but they're still solid hard drives if you, want, if, you, if you like keeping your data secure and if you want to keep your data for a long time. Um, so in 2018, like I said, uh, Western Digital shut HGSD down and brand new HGSD drives are really hard to find now. But the scam also existed before they shut down HGSD. So it's not something related to the fact that the company is no more. Because um, I've experienced this scam back in 2017 as well. And I should have known better to not buy HGSD drives off eBay and just stick to Newegg and stuff. But recently, um, I had no other option because obviously they're no longer produced under the HGSD brand. So I had to go on eBay if I wanted to buy one of these drives. I knew this was a bad idea, but I still went ahead with it and I purchased an HGSD drive and this is what ensued. So the listing you see on screen here is the original listing that I bought it from. Um, I'm not gonna name the eBay seller but there are a bunch of these people who do, do this. It's not just one. Um, now as you can see it's listed as new HGSD 2TB 7200 RPM brand new listed as brand new and now look closely at the packaging. So if you know hard drives, they ship in anti-static bags. And HGSD bags are always non-transparent. You can't see through them. They're reflective, as seen in the picture. And they have this distinctive yellow marking and some details up front. Now, when I did purchase original drives of Newegg back in the day, they always came with a similar looking packaging, HGSD packaging. And this is confirmed in the industry that most of HGSD's packaging looks like this. So that's one clear giveaway uh, if you're looking to spot a fake or spot used drives. So I purchased this item for what, $30 plus $8 shipping or something, waited a week and it eventually arrived and so and so. And then when I opened the box and I, I recorded the opening as well, because I knew that there's a chance this could be a scam. And I was right. So here's a clip of me opening the box. As you can see that when I opened it, it's not at all as it looks in the picture. Now, for a person who does not know better, for someone who thinks, okay, it's just a hard drive, no big deal. Maybe it just shipped in a separate packaging, maybe, I don't know. They People would not think that far if they don't know what they're looking for. But the moment I saw this, I noted, okay, here's another scam. So 
at first, now why do you th we'll think, okay, so it's probably just in packaging, maybe it's just used, uh, they probably shipped you the wrong one, something, something like that. But no, the same thing happened in 2017 when I bought off eBay for whatever reason. They were still a sale on they were still for sale on Newegg, but I still bought them off eBay, bought one off eBay for some reason. And it also came in a transparent packaging just like the one here. I don't have pictures from back then, but it was the same packaging. Um, so here's the scam that goes around and this is where most people get fooled um, they think that sure it's in different packaging but it's no big deal it's still new it's in a different packaging it looks sealed but no these are not sealed they're just pasted with that yellow sticker as you can see it says warning don't touch don't touch with bare hands or something like that it's something related to static but they don't think too much of the, the the packaging but the packaging is here the dead giveaway so when I got it I noticed that this was not the original packaging so what do you look for what, what why am I saying that the packaging is off what what happens here what's the scam here so what these guys do is now like I said before HGST drives are very reliable drives they're the most reliable on the market a lot of servers use these things to run their servers basically in a raid array they keep them and they use them for a couple of years now when you run a hard drive in a server you barely ever touch the drive it, it barely ever is interacted with physically so most of the drives look really new and a lot of servers also chose to use HGST because of their said reliability so what these people do uh, these sellers on eBay they buy these hard drives from these servers when they like when they put them out when they want to replace the hard drives not because they're broken it's because servers only keep hard drives running for a certain amount of time and then they just replace them so what these guys do is they buy these for cheap suck used off servers and because they look really good they just kind of polish them up a bit and they repackage them and try and sell them as new but then you'll be like, I mean, that's easy to spot. I mean, you could easily run it through a software called, like, for example, Crystal Disk Info or any hard drive detection software. And you can see the number of hours being run there, uh, the, the lifetime of runtime of the hard drive. But we all, if, if you're in the tech uh, community, and you, you know, tech, like the technical part of hard drives in general, if you know computers, basically, you know that it's very easy to reset this counter. Uh, I could do it way back then as well. Uh, there are various amounts of programs that could be used to reset the counter here. So what these guys do is they take the hard drive, clean it up a bit, plug it into a, re uh, a software that like resets the counter and they reset it to zero to make it look like it's a new hard drive. And then they just repackage it with generic uh, anti-static bags off eBay or wherever they get it and they ship it out to you now here comes to their usual excuse when you say when someone actually spots it and says hey this is a used hard drive they'll be like sure plug it into your computer and look at uh, look at they'll actually provide you a link to crystal disk info now the guy that did it to me this time didn't do that he just downright accepted the return but the guy in 2017, as I remember, he actually linked me uh, a download link to Crystal Disk Info and he's like, you can look it up on Crystal Disk Info and it'll say zero hours. But I was like, I'm not an idiot. I know how to do re re hard reset a hard drive counter myself. Don't try to fool me. This is this is as clearly a scam and maybe you got away with some other people scamming other people, but you're not going to get me. They try their very best to cover it up but the, the guy that did it to me this time he as you can see in this message here when I messaged him as saying I want to return he downright accepted it he didn't even fight it now uh, an honest eBay seller an honest eBay seller will always try to prove his point saying no this was a genuine item I uh, uh, maybe I maybe I uh, accidentally shipped the wrong item but or something like that but they try to fight it before even uh, accepting the return but this guy just downright said oh we probably just shipped the wrong item as you can see there 
in the uh, message there. He didn't even fight it because he knew that he was caught and that he can't fool everyone. So this is basically the scam that you should watch out for. It's it's they they they're basically uh, taking advantage of people who are in search of reliable hard drives by selling them used drives. And if you know how servers work, you know that these drives run 24/7, um, 365 days a year, and they're really taxed. The bearings on the hard drives discs they're taxed heavily, and usually where HDSD drives fail the most um, is the bearings because they um, they've been running 24/7, and they're they're designed to run 24/7 if they're a network assisted hard drive or NAS hard drive. But um, it's still, it's not a new hard drive. If they want to sell these as used, that's fine. But why did they just list it as new? They're pretty cheap as well. So that's the second red flag that you got to look for apart from the packaging. I mean, $38 for a hard drive, an HGSD hard drive, brand new, that's a bit off. Um, especially when a brand new Western Digital 1TB drive is only $45. HDSD drives are usually more expensive, so a 2TB brand new HDSD drive on, on, in a real situation would be above $90. Um, I remember I purchased a brand new one once uh, that was also a 2TB and that was from Newegg. That was about $110. And that, was, that came with its original box, original uh, packaging, everything. So the pricing is also a red flag that you gotta look out for. but yeah I guess this is the scam you gotta watch out for it's the packaging and in the pictures they're not gonna put the fake packaging they're gonna put a picture of the real packaging that's the scam here they and they ju they just expect okay the person might look it up on Google and see the real packaging and he'll be like yeah so this is what I'm getting I'm getting the original uh, sealed packaging but it, what they end up getting is just used junk um, if you cl have a closer look, like I've taken a photo here, there's an actual scratch on this as well. So they didn't do a perfect job on covering up all the scratches because um, I spotted that pretty easily. Um, brand new hard drives do not come with scratches. And the third biggest giveaway is the non-sealed anti-static bag. Anti-static bags from brand new drives from the factory are actually sealed, they're airtight. They do not come with a yellow sticker taped to the to the flat, the opening. That's not airtight. All the all of them are airtight, and all of them are sealed with a heat uh, with their the they're heat sealed. And you gotta break the bag to take the drive out. And usually you can't reuse the bag. These bags are just generic bags of eBay that they get. These transparent bags, and they have no HGST branding or anything on them at all. So I just want to make this video on this scam. I hope that no one else who sees this video gets caught to this scam. And if you do end up buying an HGSD drive off eBay and you get something like what I got in the photos and all the, the three the, the uh, three or four three or four main points that I just said, uh, the the red flags. If you see them, go ahead and return the drive. eBay's uh, return protection policy is with you, so you can downright return the drive. Um, shipping back to the seller is free as well eBay will provide you a label so let's have a rundown of the, the, the main things you have to look over when you're look, buying stuff off eBay and when you return it when, when you get the when you get the drive in the mail so the first thing you're looking for is the transparent bag if it's an HGSD drive there is no transparent bag second point if the hard drive has scratches it's obviously used that's common sense Third, if it's not sealed, if it's not heat sealed and you had to, if you didn't have to rip the bag to get the drive out, then again, that's another red flag. And the, the fourth is the price. The fourth point is the price. Um, a brand new HGST hard drive cannot be below around $80. If not, they're going to be more pricier now because they're no longer produced. So if the price is off, the bag looks off, it's not sealed, it's full of scratches, that's not a brand new hard drive. That's something that's been pulled from a server and reset. So now you know how to avoid the HGSD scam. So the next best thing, I guess, if you want to avoid this scam is go for Toshiba. 
Toshiba P300, I think. That's a really good hard drive. I use that in my PC as well. They're not great performers like Western Digital, but they're still really reliable. If you're looking if you're looking to go the reliable route. But if you want performance, nothing beats Western Digital. Um, Seagate, I personally really hate their drives. They're pretty pretty bad, but I've had only limited Seagate drives from what, because what, from what I've heard, I kind of avoided them. But if you want reliability, go for Toshiba. If you want performance, go for Western Digital. Western Digital is also the cheapest and I think the best bang for your buck. Um, but sadly, HDSD is no more and I wish that Western Digital didn't kind of phase them out and merge the two companies but I hope at least Western Digital takes the technology from HGSD and put, puts it into their hard drives make them as equally reliable as HGSD so yeah that was this video on a scam just another tech discussions video and I hope you don't get scammed. If you have any questions regarding this thing, just leave a comment down below. I'll be happy to reply. Um, we And I hope to, that people avoid these in the future and these scammers go out of business from their um, scamming tactics. And yeah, so that was it for this video. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.